Every now and then, these calls echo through some of the forest-clad mountains of Fake. They are signals exchanged between farmers scattered in these high and risky mountains practicing an indigenous form of farming, Zabo or Riza as the community prefers to call it. Passed down through generations, the people use this traditional knowledge to systematically harvest rainfall for agriculture in a water-scarce mountainous region. Our forefathers started Riza farming in the hilly areas. Early people work in the riverside. They existed, exist in uh, few fields near the rivers. It's not sufficient for the people. Blocked by mountains, Kikruma falls in a rain shadow region. Water scarcity is perennial in this hilltop village. To combat this, the community developed an intricate farming system that relies on rainfall, the dense forests, artificial channels, ponds and gravity. From every possible catchment area in the forest, people carve out channels that direct water to the ponds. This system of storing rainwater and using it for irrigating the fields is locally called Rizza. Channels, these are very important for Rizza purpose. So where there is a channel, we have to clean it during the dry season and during April, March and April. And even footpaths also have to, we have to clean because footpaths easily uh, gets water when the rain comes, uh, rainfall comes. Uh, in the same way, when there is some across road, uh, agreeing roads near to our fields, it is very much helpful to us. It is better than the rail channel one also. Uh, also. From the storage ponds that are built at a higher elevation, Water is supplied to paddy fields down below via narrow drains, largely using gravity as an ally. The drains are blocked with mud and stones until it is time to irrigate the fields. It's gathered water. Though it is scanty of rain, it's gathered, gathered little, little uh, water coming from the channels, footpath. It flows together and kept together in the Raza. Though there is scanty of rainfall, uh, with the help of Raza, we could manage to cultivate in time. That is the Raza importance. There are over 200 harvesting ponds in Kikruma, each shared by multiple farmers to irrigate adjoining fields. The Raza system goes beyond paddy farming. The community also cultivates fruits, vegetables, pulses and fish using the same system. Through this Reza farming, we can produce our own uh, harvest, which is enough for us for the whole year. And sometimes we, we have in excess, which we have in excess, we keep store it. Sometimes, some seasons, uh, we, we are not able to cultivate our, all, uh, all our plots, our plot of land, if there is less rain. So, during that time, we can use all those extras, which we have stored, last year, uh, from previous year. Mostly we use naturally occurring fertilizers. So we cut out plants which are good for the paddies. So we put the leaf inside there. You know, after tilling, we put the leaves. And then after that, they will provide manure. So we try to use only naturally occurring, occurring ones because it has more health benefits for us. In fact, the runoff water also carries manure to the fields as it is channelized through cattle sheds. While only a small fraction of land in the village uses the Rizza system to grow crops, it highlights the need for looking towards traditional solutions for water scarcity. Where there is no water source, they, where that particular village does not have any water source, they can uh, adopt this technology. They can go for this uh, digging of uh, ponds and then collection of ponds during monsoon and then they can use it. So it will be feasible for those villages which do not have a natural source of water and depends only on rainfall. The indigenous and sustainable farming practice in Kikruma has been recognized by the government as a potential other effective area-based conservation measure 
or OECM that looks at management methods helping in biodiversity conservation.